We're at San Carlos Lake here. I stopped at this lake because there's a history with this lake. And just recently, I found my father's old boat on Craigslist. That's the old boat right there. That's my dad's old boat. I wasn't even looking for his boat or anything. I was stumbling through Craigslist and I found his boat. When I first seen the pictures, I was like, man, that kind of looks like dad's boat. And this lake here where we're at has a story about my father's boat. And he had a little place up on, um, out past Globe, on uh, a little place called On the Top of the World. And he, he had his little cabin out there. Up here on top of the world, this is the uh, front yard. And he had, he had his big wolf with him. Dumb dog, it was no further than five feet from watching watches on the right The story is, is I got a phone call from my dad, and I think it was 1997, and that was the last time I've been to this lake where I'm at right now. And the call was, son, um, I need your help. Uh, you need to come help me get my boat. It is stuck at San Carlos Lake. I am at the lake. And uh, we got a problem here. Here we are, dry docked. I don't know what we're going to do here. I know I can't do nothing today. I might as well forget about fishing. His boat was about 20, 30 feet on shore, just sitting there on shore. And it was a bigger boat. It was like 21 feet long, a big V-Haul fiberglass. It was a yellow boat, and he called it the Lemon. And it loved to live up to its name um, because it was a big yellow boat, so he called it the Lemon. Our, again, and this is our problem. Yeah, it's went down further. It really went down further. Man, what are we gonna do, Sam? It's even worse. What a job. What a job. What a job, Sam. Way down there. Into that water there. now Sunday we've got it off of these rocks down to there in the muck took us all day yesterday to do that uh, if you don't have a, a college education this is where you end up <laughs> with a, a shovel in your hand and you know what if you do have a college education and you're maroon like this, you still end up this way. <laughs> Once it gets off the jack, you might make it now. Getting closer, getting a lot closer, some hard work, nothing but manpower. So far no boats, nobody else has helped us. Here, a boat here is trying to pull us out and they're pushing us all they can. It's coming! It's coming! Yes it did go, there it goes! 
It went another inch. That's got it. Rock it, rock it, rock it. Finally. Got it out. All right, man. See, we made you a dock. Oh. Put the boat in when you pull up the camera. Oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Jeez. Jeez. Yeah, that, that other rope you have, I guess my hook there, like, flew out of there, too. And, uh, yeah, hey, man, that was good. Well, you praise know, the Lord. Finally got in the water. Now we don't have any dry clothes, Shannon. <laughs> 5.30 in the afternoon. Pull right around in the boat and get them. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> We'd have never done without his help, and we've been digging all night. And we were right down here, right below me here, right in this area, right behind me here. When that in that video, and it was it was really rough getting that boat back into the water. It was very difficult, but we managed to finally do it. Uh, and then he drove it right up over here. And we got it on the trailer, and that was it. That was the last time I was on that boat with Dad here. That's the old boat right there. That's my dad's old boat. Wow. Wow, it's, it's uh, definitely got some work to be done, huh? Did any water get inside the motor? Uh, I don't know. I couldn't say. Okay. You have to check the dipstick, I guess. I see. But I've had that pot over it forever. I gotcha. Wow, it's it's uh it's still structurally sound. It just needs new wood. That's gonna work, of course. Yeah. Okay. So all this too. Oh, that's bad. And it's got to be ripped completely and pulled down. Hmm. And it's all got to be ripped out, too. And then the main supports, too, I imagine are bad. That's even in here. Plastic. Mm -hmm. Still, still bad bulb stuff in here. That was old, old everything. <laughs> so she's heat everything. The set the. I think that one still has a little bit of air in the, in the back here. <laughs> the one, huh? It's, it's holding not, a little it's bit. It's sitting on the rim. Yeah, you're right. It's got a little bit, huh? It's going to take a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work. And everything oh, torn down to this and well that's the only wood part left on it. I don't know what's what's underneath of that top uh, part I, uh, I haven't looked at it in years. You can make a nice car hauler out of the trail. So yeah it's house drive off. See there's a boat. Question was the yeah. windows always like that? Just crazy, man. I cannot believe this is Dad's old boat. That's just crazy. It's I like the design because you used to be able to push this forward like this. Yeah. And you can come up front and we would fish on top. We'd climb up there all the time and fish. Everything, all wiring, electric, everything's got to be replaced. I think that engine's going to have to be... Oh, it's definitely... I'm rebuilding myself. 
It was rebuilt when he bought it, right, right. before, yeah. Right. So when you got it, it was a rebuilt motor. I think my dad's boat might need to be saved again. What do you think about the condition of this boat? Is it worth saving? Please like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate you watching this video. And post a comment below. What are your thoughts? Do you think that I should save my dad's boat again?